Uh, one of the things that impressed me about this microcontroller, which is ESP32W ROM32, which is from the Expressive, uh, what it does, it, uh, what is the features that is kind of interest me is this microcontroller, it kind of have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, uh, features, which is very interesting for me. And uh, just start from the basic. I will be using Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code uh, and I will be downloading the driver which is following the square shape of the driver here and uh, yeah that's kind of it these two then I will from the Visual Studio Code I'm gonna download platform IO there and see how it goes one by one alright guys let's go through it guys this is the which I talk about the ESP32 W ROM chip okay what you can see here is ESP32 W room uh, dash 32 which is from the expressive okay the microcontroller is this this part is only the microcontroller let's surround this part which is the outside part this is what we call this as a development board so this this is microcontroller which is chip here this is what you call microcontroller and the outer part is what we call is as a development board so you can see right here this is where is the driver so in this in this case there's got two types of driver which is kind of like one is the rectangular one if for this particular ESP32 W ROM32 uh, another one is kind of long uh, driver then so you guys have to kind of research on it uh, what kind of driver was used in this particular ESP32 uh, development board Mine small rectangular is a CP210X driver which I have to download here. This is what they call CP210. Go to this website which I will be linked down below. And uh, I'm gonna download uh, for this UART Bridge uh, VCP drivers. Scroll down. You can see which I can download for Windows. Go to the downloads tabs here. Then you can uh, go to I choose the which is CP210X Universal Windows Driver. So another things which I have to download is the Visual Studio Code. Here you want to download for Windows which is the stable. If let's say it's your Mac, then you change it to the Mac OS, then you download it. So once you download this tool, then you're good to go. You can launch your Visual Studio Code and uh, you can uh, add an extension for the platform IO. Alright, so once you already download the video stu Visual Studio Code here, what you can see here is you kind of go in through this uh, which is uh, main CPP. Okay, this is before that. You have to go to the Explorer tab here. Sorry, you have to go to the Extension tab. Then you have to download which is essentially is platform IO. So you have to see, you kind of have like the bug, bug, bug picture here. Then you download this, install this. Then uh, let's say you're done with it, you go back to the, you can go to the new project. Uh, let's say it's a new, not from here. You go to the platform. I so back to new, new project. Name, hello world. Blinky blue, right? Then the board we select is node MCU node MCU 32S. Okay, then we choose this. Then there we know Arduino framework. We choose this, all right? Okay, use default lecture. Then we finish it. Okay, then it will be created like this which is the new project here then from here you have to add this is where we main cpp which is where we program here when platform uh, in initiate then which you have to add this which is the monitor speed for the board rate we put it uh, 921,600, which is the board rate for the in this, in this case which is the speed for the monitor speed here then go to the main CPP, then we can include this code which is from the Arduino header file. We include Arduino header file here and put as a white setup, then a white loop 
pin mode we LED blend in which is the blue color LED inside of the ESP32 we can uh, make it as output then uh, we begin the baud rate here then serial print in is hello from the setup then we got a white loop here delay and uh, digital write LED blend in make it as high then hello from the loop we pin it for the serial monitor then we delay again one second then we make it low which is zero volt for the LED so two things you need is uh, kind of this which is uh, ESP32 and a uh, type kind of type C USB here so we plug it in this compile it uh, we compile then we upload while uploading, we have to press the boot button for the ESP32 and you can see the ESP32 will be light up as bright for the blue color LED.